Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel, welcome to this week's reading. For this week I will be reading from the coffee cup and then also I'll be pulling out some cards towards the end. Uh, also please remember that these are general readings so it may not resonate for everybody. Please take what doesn't leave, what doesn't and also please do like, share and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And this is uh, the uh, Golden Art Nouveau Tarot deck. <laughs> Alright, okay Virgo, let's begin. Virgo. There is the subject of commitment coming through. Committed to a project, not necessarily a person, but, well, first of all, when it comes to work, you're seeking a commitment within work. You're seeking something that you can grow in it can be something stable that you know there's a constant uh you know income uh flow of things it's like so you're trying to get your bearings you try to just you're kind of you know wanting to be in a place where things actually feel predictable for you in your life not wanting to worry about what's going to happen the following month you'd rather have that kind of like peace of mind where you're like okay no I know you know you're waiting for some of you probably are looking for a contract or a better contract something to just sign to commit and know that you're you're there you don't have much to worry about there's other things also that you know it's like in the past perhaps you 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 weren't so much in favor of committing for anything for too long and I do see this energy changing here your perspective is changing in many ways and also in terms of a connection a relationship of some kind looking for that deep commitment is what I see um you know Virgo you have a few admirers you definitely have a few admirers especially this week this coming week, I see you being more attractive than usual, highly attractive. People are being very attracted to you. You're, you're drawing in people quite a bit. There are several admirers here. And for some of you, you know, you could have, it's, it's up to you. It's your kind of choice to see which one you want to go for, even if they don't make it so obvious. If you, for example, show the least bit of interest you could find them uh, opening up very, very quickly to you. It's like they could be looking for some signs from you, you know. They're not sure if you're interested or not. They've tried. They're kind of like, I'm guessing standoffish energy here, standoffish. Um, you know, there's kind of like a worry and anxiety. They're not knowing 100%. And so they'd rather um, guard themselves. But the same could the same sometimes is with you as well. Uh, just It's like just to protect your heart. Mm. So there are a few things here that um, I see you're looking to clarify. There is um, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation you could be having with somebody that you both care about each other. You, this could be, um, doesn't have to be a, a any kind of romantic situation with this whatsoever and I, in fact I do see for some of you it's a fatherly figure so there's something that you want to understand uh, something that's happened because you're, you're looking to the future and you want it to just be bright you're wanting to step in walk continuously walk into the future without this shadow over you without this kind of the, these thoughts of, of um, um, questions, you know, that, that you feel like has plagued you or you're wanting to know. So things are being clarified. There's been, there's, you know, there are things being lifted off, weight being lifted off you. And, and I see that being lifted off your heart as well. It's like your heart has been, uh, you could feel great with somebody but there's always this weight this heaviness there when it comes to your heart that is being lifted off and it feels so good 
you know, and it could be just just something small that needed to be fixed. And you can like breathe so much easier after this. I see a school, you could be going to a school, joining a new one, there's something like that, that um, you will be very liked in this place. If it's a course that you're starting, that there is, um, I can see you do very well. And if you have teachers or something like that, um, uh, they like you being there, like they like you as a student. <sighs> okay, let's see what the cards have for you, Virgo. Uh, I, something has come through, by the way, about some issues with your property. The house is getting fixed. Uh, you're removing some clutter from your house. There's, there's reorganization happening. Okay. We have the, mm, the Five of Cups. I think Taurus also started with the Five of Cups. All right. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Six of Pentacles. And the Eight of Wands. Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles, and the Eight of Wands. Mm. There is, here you are coming out of some sorrow that you may have been going through. Some kind of, there, there, there was a feeling of a lack. And you're turning that around. I do see, you know, your... You're realizing you need better balance with uh, in your life with yourself when it comes to your emotional and, and um, emotional side, but also kind of physical and the material side as well. Um, and needing to needing like realizing that there is a change. There's a there's a change in the pattern of your thoughts the pattern or the, the way of of thinking something is turning around here and with that i do see you will see the um the amount of support that you have around you there is something coming through where perhaps it feels a little bit unexpected getting this support from this other person um you know you're very generous yourself whether that's you helping somebody uh with whatever it could be you're more than happy to to be there and that is returning back to you as well like a karmic reward like it's like a karmic reward and with the eight of wands um there is there is good news coming through something that has a lot of potential for growth and there is a move for some of you as well, or wanting to experience a new place. And this opportunity or this news that coming through, it could give you that opportunity to be able to um, take you to a place that you've been, oh wow, looking forward, looking um, or thinking about as well. Knowing that you do have the resources uh, if you change that pattern without thinking that you have lack and you, you instead you have that gain balancing things out things start to come through like a breakthrough ace of cups and the page of cups beautiful wow and i was talking about commitment see as you are starting to really kind of think about a lot of things something really within the depth of your soul here and you're you're looking at this, you're confronting it, you're going through, you've grown, you're healing, and you're really ready to commit to many, many things. You're escaping what felt like poverty, and that could be poverty of the mind as well, not necessarily uh, material. That's what I see. It's like you're looking at the health of uh, what you project, what you put out, um, and you're creating this abundance here, you realize that within you there's there's a never ending you know cycle of of um like infinite resource that you have within you and you're able to really manifest and create a lot of things you're creating a special offer here coming through if it's with love as i was saying looking for that deep commitment this could be it virgo for you when it comes to love commitment something a deep special relationship and if it's not to do with romance then things are definitely 
deep healing from this deep healing things are coming through beautifully and it's like remembering or sticking on that path of speaking the right things feeling the right things you know um there is a chance coming through and you, you'll feel like, okay, this, this could be my chance. This could be my chance to turn things around. Somebody could be coming in though, also turning things around for you. It, it's like what, what I see your eyes are opening up uh, and it's, it's, you're ready to grab the bull by its horns here. Six of swords moving. You're definitely moving away from this lack, go, you know, this kind of um, turbulence that you may have been experiencing going on to smoother shores, greener pastures here. And really ready to do that as well. Some of you I get here, you've stumbled upon some information. You stumbled upon something that feels like it is um, very, very precious something that could really change everything uh like you th you always thought something was one way and you realize that it's the complete opposite you always believe that someone did this particular thing this whole time and you you uh, the truth is revealed so there's a situation like that where there's a really great awakening happening a big big awakening Ah, and we have here the world awakening. Look at this confirmation. Wow. Earth signs this week. There's something very powerful happening with you for sure. And look, I had to cover the world, by the way, because I don't know if you saw one of my posts this week, but um, I I got restricted on one of my videos because of my tarot decks. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Anyhow, so I had to like put tape on the cards that, that had, that was showing, you know, certain parts of the body. But there's such beautiful, such beautiful art, you know, it's anyhow, just because of that. So I had to put tape and then draw over it rather than ruining the actual cards and drawing on top of it. There you go. That's why she has this extra layer. But the world, you see, we have the world. <laughs> Things are really... Uh, changing for you there's a karmic cycle that you are ready to begin there's a new start you're leaving something behind as it, it this energy has been in a constant flow here this reading has been like finishing each sentence at a time each card finishes each each sentence and there is you know I, i'm paying attention also you could be dealing with a leo by the way not necessarily or a capricorn but doesn't have to be anyhow there is uh you have this courage to really start something afresh and it begins within you of course but there is something that you are breaking a certain habit a certain pattern and you're entering this beautiful new cycle and you're determined to keep that going there's many things coming through look this amazing abundance abundance in all areas of your life your something that you've been wish, wishing deeply desiring is starting to see come through as long as you make this change and look to do something that brings you that that peace that stability this commitment that's coming through wow i mean look at that a new space a new home for some of you Virgo, thank you so very much for being here. I really, really hope that you enjoyed them and, and that this was helpful. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support. Thank you, thank you for your beautiful comments. And I, I have such gratitude for all your donations. It is extremely helpful. I love you all so very much. Do take care of yourselves. Until next time.